What's up? This is Truth and welcome to round four of the Risk World Championships we're playing with. Sir Tyler, 26,000 Grandmaster. Monkey Blaster, 20,000 Master. W1 Pro, 17,000 Master. Waldo Barman, 19,000 Master. And Harriet, 20,000 Master. Let's go. So, last round, we were able to make it. Let's turn on the risk volume a little bit. Last round, we were able to make it to top 20 in the tournament. We didn't get as good of a round as we would have hoped, but it wasn't bad. Uh, we're playing on World Domination, Bohas Forest, Auto, 60 Seconds, Expert AI, Progressive Cards, Balance Blitz. Uh, okay, cool. And Alliance is off. Fog of War on. So most likely we're gonna have to go for a bonus in this game. Uh, looks like we might have a good take for this plus three. So that's probably what we're gonna go for. All right. Yeah, I like that idea. It's on a portal though, which is cool. I, that's a good thing. So I'm wondering, could I take it through a portal? I don't think so. The only portals are here, here, which is fog right now, I guess, which is why we can't see it. Okay. We only get three troops though. I don't think we should risk the attack here. So maybe we just wait. But we make our intentions clear. Maybe like this. And he can move through that portal when he needs to. And then I suppose, I suppose uh, going right here is good. So getting plus three would be nice. And then could we maybe try for another bonus is the question. Probably not, but you never know. It is fog. Okay. I wonder what yellow is trying to do. Letting him know I'm going to hit his two next turn if he doesn't move it. Okay. Oops. What is he saying oops about? I wonder. Maybe Red's in here and he wants to take the bonus? Don't know. That's the beauty of fog. But since it is stable portals, we're gonna have some good vision once we take this portal here. It's stables. Oh, there goes my two. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. This guy's a master. The range of ours. The reason why I'm I'm kind of questioning that move is because like he literally has nothing in this bonus now that he wants to take. He he couldn't take it this turn. But it's okay. It was just a two, I guess. And green, uh, blue did move out of our bonus, which is nice. All right. So now is the time to check and see if anybody got a bonus. So black didn't get a bonus. I'm gonna lose another two there, aren't I? Yeah, they want to take that plus four. Ugh unfortunate and they get good dice that's too bad we're in two positions i will actually three positions counting this right here okay let's take this bonus now um you can do something like this and add here so we don't lose that position and then we're chilling with a plus three very nice all right who got a bonus that's the question it looks like nobody's got a bonus yet Oh, wait. I oh, know that was the sixth position. He got three extra trips because he's in the sixth position. Okay. We've got a portal here that we could go into. That's cool. This is nice. Saying well played. I have no idea what's going on. All right, then. Yeah, nobody got a bonus turn two. Maybe now? Yeah. Okay, Black did get that bonus. Okay. I guess he's destroying his troops for somebody. Don't like that move. Uh, in a fog game, it's good to just keep your troops there. Doesn't really benefit you. You already have a bonus. There's no point in helping another player. So that was not a good move, I don't think. What's this guy's rank? The master 20,300 hours in the game. Okay. This could be a lot of these players' first tournaments, except for um, Monkey Blaster, I'm pretty sure I've seen him before. 
W1 Pro, I, I've seen him before. I haven't seen Waldo. Oh, I've seen Sir, Sir Tyler. Yeah, this is, he's a great player. Sir Tyler's a great player. Okay, so he was feeding it to Sir Tyler. Okay. Okay. So we'll just make a position here. That's cool. So Sir Taylor has this bonus now, up here. Oh, don't you go hit my five. <laughs> Alright. Didn't even give me a chance to move out, just slams a five. Very smart move. <laughs> Guys, if you're playing a game, don't waste your troops for no reason. This is a plus three. Slamming a five does not make any sense. Just move into the bonus and signal to the player who you want to move out and give them fist bumps or any sort of emote, say thanks or something if you don't have fist bump, emote, whatever. Um, that way you don't lose troops for no good reason. This is just dumb. You don't lose troops slamming a bonus. You would have somebody move out so both them and you benefit. Slamming the five doesn't make sense. If it's like a three or something, sure, maybe, maybe then you take it because then you can get like a plus three quicker, right? So then that kind of makes sense, right? If you, if you had a three, especially if you know you can take the bonus on that turn. He had no idea what was behind my five. There was another three there. He couldn't get the bonus that turn. He lost six troops for no good reason. And I go down with him. So we are kind of weak. Um, I would not be surprised if there's players on this board who have 40 troops right now and we we're only at 20. So it's okay though, because it's progressive. So hopefully we can survive it. We'll see. But we do know that yellow is very weak. They didn't get a bonus, <clears throat> and they just slammed my, my stack. Okay. Let's just make a position in the center, I suppose. Okay. Let's see if yellow got the bonus. I doubt they did. Yep, they only got three troops. <laughs> oh man. And he trades in early. Oh my goodness. That is that's something. That is something. We don't know where he is though. He could totally be somewhere here in the fog that we just haven't seen yet. Um, and in that case, going for his bounty is frisky. Unless we can get back there and check. So it looks like W1 Pro has this bonus here. So Tyler has this bonus, and Black has this bonus, Blue has this bonus. So black, red, purple, white, blue, yellow? Wait, who who was it that slammed my my thing earlier? Oh, it was it was W1 Pro. Wait. Hold on. Yeah, both of these are plus fours. So he either has this one that he slammed my troops for, or he has this one. Most likely the one he tried to slam my troops for, right? There's no way that he got this one first. Looks like someone snagged it from him, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's odd. Okay. He got the bonus now, he got the plus three. <laughs> that he lost so many troops for. And I'm assuming red didn't get out because there's a purple seven here, right? I'm just waiting for him to like slam through the portal and break somebody. <laughs> the yellow player is like the purple player of uh, round three, if y'all watched that video. If you haven't, you can go back. Uh, I made a playlist covering all of the World Championship games this season. So you can watch it from round one to now we're at round four. And if you're enjoying it and this is your first time seeing my content, feel free to hit the subscribe button um, so YouTube can uh, show you more of my content in the future. Post daily. Okay, yeah, so he, it isn't this bonus. Okay. 
So yellow could be in here. Yellow could be in this bonus, which is why we can't go for him. That's too risky. Kill a bunch of troops for nothing. That's a big smacker right there. 20 stack. Okay. We're about to trade in for the 10 trade though. Since yellow traded in early, we get to profit off of that and get some more troops. Okay. Let's make sure we stack on portal. It's always good to have a big old smacker on portal. Make it like a seven, 18. 18 sounds good. Um, and then the rest here, I guess. There is yellow. Okay. He's adding everything he's got here, which is odd because usually you want to add to your other positions around the board, assuming he has them, which he should if he's been playing right, which I guess is not guaranteed. <laughs> based off of his previous plays. I guess the concerning part is how blue's lines are looking on me right now. It's not very good. If I don't get a set on four or something, I could just die to him. Of course, he can't see all of me. He can barely see any of me, but he's got the lines. If you were to figure it out, it'd be nice if somebody moved in the way of his 20 stack here. Okay. W1 Pro is making some good uh, positions for himself all around the board. Well played. He's playing well. Good job. Take our card here and fortify the three over onto our 18. I like that idea. Okay, we've got a set. Um, yellow sets in early too, wow. Incredible. So we're definitely gonna use our set if we can. <laughs> That's not good. Players are setting in on three way before me, meaning I could be lined up for a kill pretty easy. It's not very good. Surprised to see they're trading in early. It's not what I would have expected, but I guess it makes sense. It makes sense for blue after yellow does it. I'm not sure if it makes sense if yellow doesn't do it. I don't know. Maybe he was worried about my lines on him. Which are actually probably pretty good. Pretty good lines, I bet. I just can't see a lot, so can't be sure. And surely, W1 Pro doesn't have a set on three as well, right? No, okay. That's good. Card skips. Wow. Why, why on earth would you card skip? You at least set in there, right? Like, if, you, if you're wanting to hold and then trade in for a bigger set what you do instead is you trade on that turn because you're already getting 30 anyway the difference between trading now and trading later is not that big it's 15 troop difference so yeah that's kind of odd all right as long as sir tyler doesn't kill me here i'm good and he can't he can't get this 12 here i don't think well maybe he can now with that with black doing that uh, we'll see get ready to say oops he doesn't know not about this position. Good. Good job, Sir Tyler. Shouldn't go for it there, and he didn't. Because he doesn't know where my other position is that I did add to. All last turn, I added everything there, and he didn't see it, so. Um, I'll just keep adding here. Um, I don't think I need to add to that. Nobody's going to go through that unless they're actually actively trying to break me. So that's okay.
Yeah, I think that's a goofy move from W1 Pro. Because you would be a card ahead right now, which is worth way more than what you would get from holding for the extra 15. Made a couple, couple goofy plays, I think. Just a couple. Card skipping there, I think, was, was not correct. Um, and also hitting my stack here, my two, that quickly also might have been a mistake because he spread himself super thin. He got the bonus anyway, so didn't, he didn't get punished for that move. But there's like a chance that blue could just snag that and then just hold two plus fours maybe. I'm not saying that that's the correct move from blue, but it could entice him to do that. Not regarding blue pretty well. So that's cool. And we're one of the strongest players for sure now because we traded in very last. I mean, outside of W1 Pro, <laughs> of course. But now nah, he's a card behind everybody else. It's bad news for him. Okay. It could be probably good just adding like this. Yeah, that's okay. Just sit right here. Should be fine. All right, what type of cards are we dealing with here? Two cannons and a cavalry. Okay, so I have a set on three. Hopefully, we get a set on four. We need either a cannon or an infantry. And I have a feeling that's all of yellow. He just keeps adding everything there. He's playing it like a fixed game. I don't think he understands these settings. And he traded in the earliest possible for both trades. Super curious if he dies to Sir Tyler here. If that's all of them, Sir Tyler could set in maybe and kill him. That way he's got a forge four cards by his next turn. Definitely gonna trade in most likely. Okay, trading in early. There it is. So maybe black gets him. Didn't go for it. Okay. As black, I always go for yellow there, I think. Unless you don't have like a position over here and you're not sure. I don't know. He, he hasn't seen where yellow's been at this whole time, probably. So he doesn't have a position in the center. Yeah, maybe he just doesn't know. What are trades at? 55. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, we got a set. We got average luck. Let's go. <laughs> so we go hunting for yellow if he doesn't trade in? I think so. But chances are Sir Tyler gets him before me. If Sir Tyler is good, he should get yellow. 100%. And trade in. And then does he do anything after that? Maybe goes for me? Don't know. I don't think it would be good, because so you're not 100% sure of where I'm at. Plus, I'm very strong. And then somebody might go for you after. Oh, yes, he went off portal. That's good for me. That means I can go over there. Check it out. All right, Sir Tyler, are you going to get him? If not, I definitely go for him. Definitely go for yellow. Yeah, he's going to get him. This is going to be really good for Sir Tyler. Yeah, even W1 Pro knows. Yellow's been playing not very good. So he's out. I mean, what are the odds that yellow is like back here? And far is hot. Sir Tyler's not going for it. He's saying good game, like he's trying to entice me to go for it, which is interesting, because yellow could totally be in Far's Hot. I don't know, do I risk my game? Hello? Saying oops. Oh, three troops. 
No way. No way. I didn't know he had that much back there. Oh, and that wasn't his last position either. Okay, yeah, I made a major mistake there. At least it doesn't feed the game though, because yellow comes right after and trades in. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone for it. Too bold. Too impatient. Mm -hmm. The reason I smacked the 31st was to check to see if, if yellow was back there before I went for it. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was a major mistake for me. And this is from Fog, dude, I, I honestly, I suck at Fog, if I'm gonna be honest. I always go for things that I shouldn't. That's why I don't play Fog ranked. Hit my two, okay. I guess he's trying to get into the corner, isn't he? <laughs> Fair enough. So most likely don't win this game because I'm a lot weaker. Okay. I mean, if I get to 7-3, of course anything can happen then. I can still get killed for three cards, but... And Sir Tyler would most likely try for it, at least. So... Yeah. Despite Yellow not adding anywhere else, he did have another position. Because he didn't add everything to that last one that I didn't get. I should move out of the way here. And that's not a set, is it? I don't think it is. Oh, wait, it is. Shoot. We're still in this. Shoot. Somehow. Somehow we're still in this. I mean, at least yellow doesn't go for the vengeful play for me failing the kill. But yeah, I'm sorry, yellow. I underestimated how much he had the bonus, and he paused most likely at another position. All I need is for Sir Tyler not to have a Sodom 3, and then I'm definitely not dead. Well, he could just kill... Yeah, he probably just kills yellow and then sets in and then kills me. Yeah, this this could be bad. Sir Tyler has the win, I think. If he knows the other position of yellow, then yes, he has the win. Okay. W1 Pro trades in. I don't think he goes for anything, though, because if he does, then he's on five cards at the end of his turn. Which is very, very dangerous. Since we all have a set on three, we could trade in and kill him for a set on our turn. At least nobody's hitting me for failing. Like, at least they're clear-headed. Oh. What is that? He wants to go into the pocket, I see. Rip. <laughs> Sir Tyler has the win. As long as he knows the other position of yellow, he does have the win. I'm assuming it's up here. And he probably sees it. Kills yellow, sets and kills me. Easy dub. Yeah, it's so worth it too. So worth it. <laughs> okay, black guards me though. So, looks like I'm safe. So Tyler can't get me now. Shoot. Okay. Yeah, he's going for yellow. Yeah, he was up here. He can't kill me though. That's the one thing. Hopefully he knows. If I see him add, like, 11 here, then I know he's trying to go for me. Okay, he didn't go for me. Smart man. Smart man. Very smart man. Okay. 
we're still in this. At least we don't get last. <laughs> We're not punished for a major mistake. That's pretty lucky. I mean, at least we're punished a little bit. <laughs> like Sir Tyler's got a, a great lead right now with another set coming. Of course, we, we are uh, still strong and not killable, but at least maybe we get higher placement and we could hope a failed bounty happens, maybe? Failed kill? Oh, shoot, shoot. He's going for red. Red's in here though. At least we saw he smacked a little bit of Tyler. Okay, so he went for red but he failed. So Tur Sir Tyler most likely kills W1 Pro now. Because Sir Tyler's got the kill guard on him here. He's got a stack in this territory. And what does that mean for us? Nothing really. I think we just are done. <laughs> okay, maybe he's not killing him. <laughs> All right then, surprising. I thought he would definitely kill him so that he would have five cards and trade next turn because he's already pretty strong. But I was wrong. Looks like he filled that attack there. So there's just black territories. Oh shoot. He doesn't have a set, okay. It's blue. That's crazy. You should be afraid of Tyler, not blue. I mean, you should be afraid of both of them, but I don't know. Sir Tyler definitely kills him now though, right? Oh, there's black. So he must have smacked Tyler here. Wow. Tyler got smacked right here. Okay. So Sir Tyler can't kill him. So W1 Pro knows what he's doing. Okay. What is he going for? Oh yeah, he's got it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> he still had a stack there. He didn't get smacked. Okay, I guess I was confused. And then he kills me next and he sets in, right? Ah, but it isn't worth it. I only have two cards. He's guarding me from taking it? No. How confusing. There's his stack right there. Okay, yeah, so I can't kill him. Fair enough. Is that a set? No, it's not. So maybe blue goes for it? Probably not. If he does, he's probably going through my 31, which is not good. Okay, he's not going for it. All right, fair enough. I think I'm gonna lose. I don't have a set on three, it's not looking good. Odds are, what happens is Sir Tyler trades in on four next round and I'm on four cards so he kills me. I have to take a card though, I don't really have a choice. Oh, but he trades in now. Hmm, what does that mean? He's definitely not going for me, right? He wouldn't kill me for three. I don't think. But him trading in now is actually really good, because then that means I can just stack on Moore's Mosa. And he won't be able to trade in and kill that, because he's not going to be getting enough troops to stack and kill that right there. Okay, well, th that changes things. Okay, then. He's got such good lines on me. 
I'm dead. I think I'm dead. I don't think there's anything I can do. He's already got amazing lines on me. I guess not. I found my way out. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking hard there. The only way he could get this 109 is if he has a, a stack large enough to come through and kill it. So he can't double tap it because of these two territories. His 76 is not unlocked that way. The reason why I fortified off portal over here is because if I left it here, he can do something like bring his 61 through, then he can like bring the 70 uh, into the 24, go through portal and double tap it. So as long as he can't hit it with two stacks, I'm good. Because he doesn't have a stack large enough to hit this, I don't think. Yeah, there's no way he does. Because he would have to have access to the portal. Unless he has like a hundred something sitting in here. Yeah, it's not happening. I think I actually saved myself. And I have a set. That move might have just saved me the game. What is he going for? He's going for black? Maybe? <laughs> if he if he kills somebody trades in, then I'm dead. Then I'm actually really dead. Yeah, he's going for the belt. Yeah, this is smart. Good game. Unless there's something that he doesn't know. He's saying oops. I mean, I gotta hope he messes it up. Because if he does, then I go for it. Shoot, he's almost out of time. No way. Just got to check out the whole board here. Let's go, dude. Okay. Can we kill Sir Tyler now and trade in? I think we wait. I think we wait. Maybe we, we go for like a kill guard on him or something? Is that possible? Okay. So we kill guard red. No, we wait. I don't think we should go anything for too any for anything too aggressive that turn. I'm really in the game now. Really in the game. I was I was thinking that he might have a stack back here. That was Tyler's one mistake. He didn't check back here in kitchen. <laughs> what does blue go for? <laughs> we know Sir Tyler's pretty weak. I think we trade in and kill him. Even though it doesn't set us in. Shoot. Red is not a set. So maybe we kill red. Okay. Interesting. Trades are 130. Yeah, I think we'll have the kill in red. The only issue is both my stacks are unlocked towards him. Which is annoying. Maybe Sir Tyler messes up and opens them. Yes, he messed up and opened it. Okay. Okay. It's fine. We know red is here, here, and over here. This is good. This is good. We need to make sure we get a stack back here, though. Trade in. Thank you.
Sir Tyler? I think so. Three v one, dude. <laughs> you are so lucky, Sir Tyler. Man, I can't believe I missed that. I should have put a four there. Miss on three. So we got two bounties right now. We were cooking. Oh, we had this set on three. You are so lucky, bro. You are so lucky. You are so lucky. Oh my goodness. This guy is the luckiest man ever. I feel a three view one and. He has a set on three. That's rough, dude. That's my mistake. I should have made it a four. You can lose those rolls. It's unlikely, but you can lose them. <sighs> I just didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, feed it, feed it. He's gonna feed me it. I just don't have I just don't have lines on the He didn't open up my stack. I don't have a trade right now. Put trade on four. Yeah, he wants to feed me the win, I think. Oh, yeah, now he's smacking Sir Tyler up. <laughs> okay. So I think I'm just gonna win this game then. Dude, even after failing, I'm, I'm still getting a shot at winning this. This is wild. I'll give Sir Tyler a second, since he started the feed. <laughs> Poor Bluey, dude. Jesse thought he couldn't win? 
Maybe he just thought I was too strong, so he was like, okay, well, this guy's gonna win either way. I'd rather take second than third. I mean, in Sir Tyler's position, I wouldn't do that because I'm gonna play to win either way. The, the possibility of the win is worth so much more than the possibility of second place. I don't know. Let's see where we're at on the scoreboard. Four bounties, we got four bounties. Jeez. Before this game, we were sitting at 46 points. The win is 12 points and then four bounties would be nine. So 12 plus nine is 21. So we'd get 21 points from this game, putting our total score up to 67. Okay, so that puts us at top five. At very least, we're gonna be fifth place. If, uh, I don't know, we're gonna just tie with fourth place, I guess. That's pretty cool. Okay. So top five in this tournament. <laughs> that is pretty dang good. Thank you guys for watching. We are moving on, 100% moving on. We're in the top 10 right now to round five. Round five, the top 72 players move on. Round six, the top 36 players. And round seven is the semifinals where the top 18 players only are cut off. Top five, I will definitely take that score. That is an amazing round. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.